Well, hi you guys. This is a sleeping bag here that I ordered um, a while back. It's an expensive one. It's an oversized sleeping bag for uh, men that are six foot six. And uh, it's extra wide. It's like a foot and a half wider than your standard regular sleeping bags. It was an expensive bag, but uh, for the amount of money I paid for it, it should have come with a stuff sack, and it didn't. And this uh, Hunter Green stuff sack right here, the sleeping bag will fit in it, but it fits in very, very tight, and it's very hard to get the sleeping bag back out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a stuff sack out of the black canvas, and I'm going to show you guys how I make a round bag with a round bottom with a pull string at the top. Uh, for sleep bags and different things so it'll have a pull string on it just like uh, this bag has and you can see how there's a V cut in there they stitch to here and then it goes to a V and I'll show you how I do this um, I don't have any schooling or training in how to make different things but um, I just look at how store-bought materials are made and I just replicate it so let's get started how I do this is I just lay the sleeping bag on the canvas and then I roll the canvas around the sleeping bag until it comes down to itself like that and then what I do is I just I mark it down here at the bottom give myself a mark right there and that tells me where I have to cut it and then I measure the height of the bag if it was stood up on end and then I cut it a little extra long to allow for my seam and my hem and that's what we'll do next okay I have my mark right here for where the bag is to end and then up here I measured uh, 21 inches so now from the edge I'm gonna measure up 21 inches all the way to the other end and draw a line so that way when I cut it I got a nice straight rectangular piece of fabric Okay, now I have my rectangular piece laid out and it's flipped right side up because what I did is I measured the length and split the difference to find the center. And right there is center. So now I am going to find <clears throat> there's the middle right there. So we're going to go oh I'm going to go two inches out here and two inches out here because that's where I'm going to sew in the black webbing handle so it has a carrying handle after it's made into a bag. Now I'm going to figure out how long my handle needs to be. I want to leave myself at least an inch on both ends so it's about seven inches. So I'm going to cut it at 7 inches and you want to melt both ends with a lighter so it can't fray. And that's where my carrying handle is going to go. And now I have my end of the material rolled up so I can feed it through the machine and I have my strap in place where I'm going to sew and stitch here one inch on this end and then I'll push it through giving myself a little bit of slack so I have a loop for a handle and then I'll sew the one inch on this end. Okay, now I rolled up my material and I turned the whole thing around, giving myself a little bit of slack here for the handle, and now I'm going to sew one inch around on this end. Put the needle down, leave the needle buried in it, and we're going to just turn it. Put the needle down. Turn it again. 
and then we're going to come back and put a double stitch in it. So now the underside of the material should look something like that. Now the material is um, folded so the outside uh, facing of the bag is together. This is the inside of the bag so you want it inside out and I'm going to just stitch right down along here and sew this bag closed and I'm going to stop about two inches from the other end because that's where I got to cut my V. Okay, I stopped um, two inches from the top. I marked my edge and when you cut your V, you want to leave yourself a little bit of unsewn material between where you end with the needle and where your cut line is. And we'll just go ahead and cut these off. Just like that. Now that you got the V cut in the bag, what you want to do is you want to fold over a hem a little over a quarter of an inch and you want to sew down this V and then you want to fold where you cut and run the sewing machine through here and stitch this up so it can't rip down the seam and then go up the other side of the V and stitch it closed so you're going down, across and back up again. You want to remember when you cross that Y where it comes down to the seam, you want to stitch across, back stitch, and then come back again. So now you can see that the V on the underside, I went down and stitched and stitched right across where the, the Y is. And I went down and I stitched and I went across the seam and back stitched right here a couple times and then continued on up the other side. So that locks it so the bag can't tear down this seam. Okay, I have my paracord here. And any time you cut paracord, you always want to melt it with a lighter or it will unravel. And you want to tie a knot in it. That's way, way as you start sewing and everything, this can't get pulled down through the pocket. You don't want to lose this. There's two ways you can do this. You can just stitch this pocket all the way down closed and then later go back with a piece of coat hanger and, and squeeze it around the end of this and use the uh, about a six inch piece of coat hanger like a threading needle and then just thread your paracord all through here but this way I'm going to sew it already inside the sleeve and you want to give yourself some hanging out and then you fold your seam over and you got to remember to fold your seam the right way now this is the inside of the bag so I'm folding it towards the inside if you fold it the other way your hem is going to be on the outside of the bag, so make sure you get it going the right way. And then you're going to want to just sew slow and fold as you go. And make sure that you can feel the paracord and the spine of the material. You just keep it to the outside of the foot of the sewing machine and just sew right down along it like a guide. Now that we're nearing the end, when you get to the end, you just back stitch it and forward and you're done. Okay, now that the, the seam is closed with the paracord in it, I am now going to cut it off my roll. Cut it right about there. And we're going to singe the ends so it doesn't unravel. Melt it right down. You want to watch you don't touch that because that stuff is like napalm. It'll burn the daylights out of you. And then in this little baggie, I've got barrel stops. Spring loaded little barrel stops and now you want to untie your knot that you started with and you're going to fish both ends of the paracord through the barrel stop. Once you have your paracord through your barrel stop you want to take both paracord and just tie it into a knot with both pieces. Just like that. Now that the bag is around the sleeping bag, I am going to trace out a circle for the bottom that's a bit oversized so I have enough room for my hem. 
And the reason why I went a little tall is because by the time it's cinched up, you should be left with a small circle in the middle of the bag because all this material is going to come together over the top of the bag. So that's why you want to go a little tall. So I'm going to trace the bottom, cut out the bottom, and then stitch in the bottom on the sewing machine, and then this bag will be finished. Okay, the bottom of the bag is sewn in all the way around. All the way around, stitch the outside. Okay, the bag is done. Let's put the sleeping bag in it and cinch her up. See, this bag fits nice to where I don't have to uh, really struggle to get it in and out of this bag. And because it's new, you got to work the material around. So as you cinch it, this gets easier over time. You strap it down. And there's my carrying handle. There's the bottom. And there. The sleeping bag stuff sack. Nothing to it, you guys. Real easy to make. There's a look at the bottom all the way around. Bag fits in it really nice. Not tight like the other bag was. And with a carrying handle on it, I just throw it in the van. There you go, you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Bye bye.